Okay, welcome back. We're talking about watching your email immediately after you submit to make sure you didn't do anything dumb. Okay, so continuing, how do you read the feedback? So Canvas has this thing called a document viewer <clears throat> that works really well in Word document, which is why I have you submit your programs in Word. <clears throat> but you got to up in the upper right hand corner, there's something called view feedback. If you don't click on the view feedback, you're not going to be able to see the notes I put inside your document because I'm circling things and putting little markers and all sorts of cool little annotations in your documents. And you won't see those unless you click on the dang link. OK, now if you submit some other type of file, well, then my comments are going to be inside an attachment. But then normally we're talking about Word documents and it's up to you to read feedback. Okay, so one more time. So I submit a Word document, and so I get an 85, and I go, huh, I wonder why I got an 85. I, I mean, I thought I did pretty good. And then the, the general comments say, that's a good start. I'd recommend that you redo and resubmit. I go, what, that's it? I mean, that doesn't explain why I got an 85. You're absolutely right. Unless you click on that view feedback thing, you will never know why you get an 85. It's up to you to click on the dang link to find out why you made an 85, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, a little bit about me. Hi, I'm Emmett Gray. I'm gonna be your instructor. I'm retired from Fort Hood. I wasn't in the Army, I was just civil service. I'm a software author programmer. I, I write programs as a hobby. I've written two or 300 applications. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. Um, uh, I have strange educational background. I have degrees in mathematics and engineering and, and computers, but I'm not a doctor. Don't have a PhD, so don't call me Dr. Gray. And then I got a gazillion, you know, Microsoft and CompTIA certifications that you're probably not interested in. So I'm an adjunct professor, which means I work part time. And so, during these troubled times, um, I probably won't be spending hardly any time in my office. I have an office. Uh, it's in Founders Hall, room 323Q. I don't have a phone, but the COBA admin, COBA is College of Business Administration, the, their phone number is listed. I prefer as you use email to get a hold of me. Don't, you know, don't use a phone. And I don't actually have any office hours this semester, uh, but we can use WebEx and, uh, or, you know, if you really, really, really need to talk to me, okay, we can make an appointment. We can meet at the office. Okay, so that's enough about me. Let's talk a little bit about you. So where on you in this on this scale? I mean, one would be, oh my God, why did I sign up for this class? You know, I was horrible in math and uh, this is really a bad idea. A 10 would be, you know, I've been doing instrumenting algorithms for years. I could probably teach this class with my eyes closed. You're probably not going to be that either. Probably going to know I've got programming experience and I know a little bit about algorithms. I mean, I took the the data structures course. So I learned a little bit about sorting and you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's it for this uh, PowerPoint presentation. So next we're going to take a look at the uh, whirlwind tour of canvas. Okie dokie. So here we are. Welcome to algorithms and design. So it's an online course. Yep. Yep. It's of course things to do first. Yes. <clears throat> Obtain a copy of the required textbook. Yeah, you're gonna need a copy of the book. Read the course syllabus. Go through the introductory slides, which we just did, so maybe you don't need to do that. Watch the week zero. Well, we you're watching it now. This is the week zero videos. Introduce yourself in a discussion forum, and then install Microsoft and Excel on your home computer. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the list. So announcements, I don't have any announcements. Assignments, now, I'm in the, the teacher view, so I can see a lot of things that you can't see. But, um, you know, the syllabus, quiz, the assignments, term project, term, you know, the midterm and final exam, the discussion forum, um, introductions where you can introduce yourself, uh, course feedback where you can complain, bitch and moan, uh, or perhaps say, hey, if I want to get a study group together or something like that. Grading notes for are for me. This is where I send you feedback, saying how the how the entire course did. Uh, grades. I'm not going to show you that because my view of grades is different than yours. And same thing with people. Um, the syllabus. So here is a copy of the syllabus and listing of all the things that are due. 
the syllabus is a PDF file, which basically contains everything we just went through. I mean, it's just a text version of this, right? That's all it is. It's just the same old stuff. It's just written in a in a text document about you know, here's the rubric and here's the grading and here's the the schedule. Blah 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 blah. All that stuff. Okay. So okay, kind of cool, but maybe not. Uh, modules. This is where everything really happens. Um, let me just go through this start here section. So here's the welcome module, which you've already seen. It talks about this is an independent study. Course navigation, things to do first. A little bit about me. Um, a little bit about the textbook. Uh, the course syllabus. The PowerPoint slide presentation, which we just went through. The course objectives, which quite frankly are kind of boring. Uh, the course schedule. This is the Honest to God official course schedule. So if, if I make any changes, something happens, something slips, this is where the changes will be. And then if you're new to Canvas, there's some videos on, you know, how to do an assignment or how to do a quiz, which I don't really think would be the case. Let's go back to modules. So um, I have supplemental material. I'm got, I, when we get to chapter four, I'm going to release some uh, hints. Uh, there's only going to be three videos in the entire course. This is one of them, the introduction video, the midterm review, and the final review. That's it. That's all, the, that's all we're going to have. And then lecture notes. Typically, I would have lecture notes for all the courses, but since we're not having lectures, it's just going to be a place for me to put the list of topics that I released for the midterm and the final. Okay, so that's basically a whirlwind tour of, of Canvas and how you're going to do Canvas for this course. And uh, I get, uh, next time you see me, we'll be, we'll be well, well into the course. It'll be like time for the midterm. All right, see you then.